Hi, this is Luke. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, review on the uh, USB modification that I've received uh, from Gary Dibley of eSigCity.co.uk. Uh, I'm going to put the link down the bottom, you know, down there somewhere. Uh, so check it out. I mean, he's got some uh, great mods there. He basically takes uh, household items and he uh, modifies them. Uh, into uh, vaping units. So this one in particular uh, has obviously been made from a, a torch, an LED torch that he's found. And it's basically got a, the cable coming out and that goes down to uh, down, down there to the uh, USB port on my computer. Uh, the, the cord itself is about five foot long. Uh, which is plenty of um, actual distance if you're sitting next to your computer or, or even if you're sort of nearby your computer. Uh, for me, I would have liked it to be a little bit longer, but that's just personal preference because my computer's on one side of the room and my bed's on the other side of the room. So, like, when I'm watching uh, TV in my bedroom, um, I like to obviously lay on my bed, which means that, you know, I can't vape with this unit um, yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, also, while I'm on the negative aspect aspects of the unit, uh, the little button here, it needs to be pushed in completely. Like, you need to push, the, push it in the whole way. Um, if you just push it in, like, a little bit like that, and it feels like it's completed the... the like, it's been fully pressed, really but it's not actually doing anything. So you really, it really needs to be pushed and then go the extra little bit. Um, but, yeah, so there's no, there was no, so I'll just show you. Like that's pushed down. Oh, worked that time. But yeah, I've just noticed sometimes I'll push it in. So I'm pushing it now and it's not happening. So it's just that little bit extra. It's just, Anyway, as I say, it's not, it doesn't detract really from the experience that the, um, the USB um, modification gives you. Um, now, uh, with a normal uh, battery, basically, when you first charge it, you're getting 3.7 volts, and then as you use it, uh, the voltage actually drops. Um, and obviously, by the end, when you need to recharge the battery, the vapor, uh, the vapor production and the throw here is a lot less than when you first started. So um, the great thing with the USB uh, mod, or any USB, not just this one particular, but all USB mods, is that you get a consistent voltage. Um, so that means that when you start vaping, you get a nice big uh, vapor. that um, and then in four hours time same same I mean there's no battery to change so I mean that's pretty obvious but it's a big it's the big thing you know like it's it's the main thing um, the other thing is yeah it, it's 5.2 volts instead of 3.7 volts so with this uh, DSC901 um, atomizer, uh, you're getting a lot more throat hit, a lot more vapor than you would off a battery uh, DSC901. So that's uh, that's another big thing about it, obviously. Um, yeah, so I mean, I really like it a lot. It's um, it's probably my preferred, it actually is, yeah, my preferred unit now. So if I'm sitting near my computer, um, or uh, I guess I can plug it into my laptop as well, uh, anything that's got a USB, sometimes even the, the starter pack uh, chargers uh, for the batteries actually come with little uh, USB female connections, so you can plug it directly into that if you want as well. Uh, so anything with a standard USB uh, port, you can uh, plug this little baby in there and it'll um, vape straight away, no charging required. Um, great little thing. 
great thing about um, DS9 01 is uh, and, and this because it's a, a manual setup you can put in the liquid and even if you overfill it there's no problem No, there's nowhere for the liquid to to go. I mean, um, you can see here. It's just, it looks like a hole, but it's it's not really. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to leak into the into the unit. Now this is uh, the prototype model. This is the first one he made, um, and it doesn't have a little bung here, little rubber bung that you would see on a lot of uh, devices. So all the ones he's making from now on, or purchase on his site, um, have this little rubber bun, so it, it stops it from being pulled out or, or pushed in or whatever. Meaning that if you trip over the cord or yank it or whatever, like yank it out of the USB port and it doesn't come very easily, you're not going to uh, hurt your, your unit. So. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So I really enjoy it. It's, uh, as I say, it's my favourite, favourite unit now. And if uh, the cord, the USB cord, was long enough, I'd be vaping it in bed as well uh, while I watch my TV. So yeah, yeah, really good, really good unit. Great amount of vapor. Great throw hit. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much wrong with it uh, other than the battery, uh, the, um, the button thing, as I said before, but you get used to it, yeah. You can push it down with the tip of your finger like I just did then, or you can uh, use the meat of your finger. No problem. Or uh, in some cases, I, I use the thumb, like this. Either way, I mean, it's, it's a nice little versatile unit. Um, so anyway, uh, I know I haven't done the vanilla review. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know, like I, I use the vanilla more to mix with other flavours. Um, so like I have the banana and the vanilla together that was really nice and everything but um, so I might eventually get around to the vanilla uh, but I've just ordered some <laughs> some uh, concentrates not some actual just flavorings basically uh, so I've got the apple pie and the mango coming my way in the next week or so so I might actually end up reviewing that before I review the vanilla Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, um, and be sure to check out the uh, e -Sig City uh, website uh, for all the other mods and the adapters uh, that you can get uh, as well. They're all really great. Thanks.